Welcome to our lesson about working with camera paths. Let's begin by creating a couple sketches first. We're going to go back to the Model tab, activate the 2D Sketch tool, and let's select this face. Take a front view, activate the Line tool, and let's place a line about right here. Right click and done. We're ready to exit the sketch, so let's click Finish Sketch. And let's take a previous view. F5 is your shortcut key for that. Next, I'm going to insert a support plane, offset from plane method. Select here, and let's enter our offset distance, let's say 15 inches. And OK. Let's insert one more sketch now. Right click, New Sketch. And let's select our plane. And let's take a top view. Now I'm going to create a path for the camera using the spline tool. Something like this. I'm not going to close the spline. Let's right click and select Create. And finish the sketch. F5 again takes us to our previous view. Let's go to Inventor Studio now. Environments tab. Click on Inventor Studio. First, I'm going to create a camera. Let's click on Camera. And I select a target, this face. Now the position. I'll select this point of the spline. Let's accept. Click OK. Next, I'm going to click Camera on the Animate panel. Camera 1 is already pre-selected. Let's click on the Camera Definition icon. For the target, I'm going to select Path. And then I'll select my sketch. We can check here to reverse the direction, by the way. For the position, I'll also select Path, and I'm going to select my spline. Let's make the camera view just a little wider. We can drag right in the graphic area. Click OK. Now for path, let's use a smooth path type. Duration, 8 seconds. And let's click OK. On the animation timeline, current view is now selected. By dragging the slider, we can see how the camera moves. To see a preview from the camera's perspective, let's change to Camera 1. Now we move the slider and we see what the Camera 1 sees. And I'm ready to record this animation. Let's click on the red button for rendering. The Render Animation dialog window opens. Camera 1's pre-selected. On the Output tab, Preview No Render and Launch Player are checked. The duration, let's change it to 8 seconds. Frame rate, 10 frames per second is fine. Let's choose a file name now. Click on Save. We're in Lesson 14's directory and we're going to use the AVI format. Let's click Save and click Render. Accept this codec by clicking OK. Inventor processes are rendering. I need about another one and a half minutes, so I'm going to pause the video to save time. OK, we're almost done now. And here's the player with the preview of the animation. Let's close the player. And let's close the render output window, as well as the render animation dialog window. Now let's right-click on the Lighting Style, the tabletop, and select Edit. Go to the Shadows tab. Currently, we've got no shadows selected. Let's add sharp shadows at maybe 50% density. Click Save, and Done. Let's render our output again to see how it looks. Output. I'll uncheck Preview No Render. Keep Launch Player checked. Let's change the file name. Click on the Browse icon. We'll call it Video2. AVI file type is fine. Click Save. Now let's go to the Style tab. For the interests of cutting down the rendering time, I'm going to leave True Reflection unchecked. Output tab, we're ready to render. Let's click Render. We'll accept the codec. Click OK. And I'm going to pause the video again during the rendering time. 
Okay, here is the result previewing in our player. And this concludes our lesson about creating camera paths.